This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today I'm super excited because I get to collaborate with some of my YouTube friends. We're doing a top five Dollar Tree favorites. I get to do the gift area. Joanne Plans is doing stationery. Cha-Cha Cakes is doing the food area, and Sparkles on Forever is doing beauty. So when you're done watching this video, go ahead and visit their channels. I'm going to list them below in the description box. So let's get started. So I was really happy when Joanne Plans invited me to collaborate. And um, for my first gift, the cups. I always love looking in that area at Dollar Tree. And especially with it being close to the holidays, I wanted to keep these super simple. A lot of us are looking for really quick and economical ideas that we can create. And Dollar Tree is perfect for that. So this is a cup with the Santa belt. And I thought this was so cute. And Santa's jacket. And all I did was wrap it up with cellophane. I put some candy inside of it. And I used some of the old school candy that I remember as a kid. I thought it would be fun. The bit of honey, which is also from Dollar Tree. And some of the peanut butter bars that I still have some left over. So let's hope those make it through this video. And then all I did was added a fun ribbon that I already had made. Put a little bow on there. Put a little gift tag on it. And you're good to go. It doesn't take much effort. The second item up, candles and potpourri. Really quick gift idea, even if you wanted to put these into a basket. The nice thing is that these are unscented candles, and I just love the look at the, of them, you know, with the three different shades. To me, they're real artsy, so I'm into colors. And here's the other one, too. I think these would look so pretty, especially if you're doing a, a spa gift basket and throw some of the potpourri in there too. And it's a win-win. See how easy that is? Another idea I have is these little boxes. This box right here was found in the holiday Christmas section at Dollar Tree. And look how pretty this, this artsy box is. My eye was really drawn to this. I was over in the um, stationery section, uh, which wasn't the holiday section. And I said, you know what? This would look really cute, filled with something. So what I decided was I would take, let's start with this one. Take this one right here and just fill it up with some candies. Or you can put whatever you want in here, but to me, candy is always good. And look how I got this candy from Dollar Tree as well. And so all I have to do now is just line that up. If I want to fit that one in there, I can. But I think it looks pretty nice with here, just like this. And then I'm going to just cover it like that. The bow is already on here, but if you want to change it out, you can. So if I take this bow off, or even if I leave it on here, I can add another bow to it. I can actually slip this right in here. So you don't have to keep the bow that they have on there. If you want to just like make it a little bit fancier, you can. So this is like pre-made bows that I already have. And this has a little elastic on it. So you don't have to keep the bow that they have on here, but I'm just gonna keep a little bit of it. Get my scissor here. Just cut that down. Do another one right here. Cut that down. Let's cut that one off a little bit more. Cut that off too. And you're good to go. You put your own bow on there. And now you have like a candy treat. So these two are going together. So this one right here, I can also do somewhat of the same thing. Take some of that leftover candy and add it right in here. Actually, I can put some decorative paper in here. Look at this. Isn't that paper pretty? 
put some pretty paper in there. Throw some candies and stuff in there, whatever you like. This, these make great office gifts also. And I'm just gonna put all the candy in there because if it, if it stays here, I know me. These make great teacher gifts, a gift for the bus driver. Um, and these are gifts you can give all year round. Then I can slip a card in there. And this is something I had already made. Grateful card, that'll be great for the teacher. Someone in your, a Sunday school teacher possibly. Not let me put it this way. Probably filled it up with too much candy. Let's take some of that out. I was trying to get rid of all the candy, but that's okay. And then if I want, I can cover it again with another piece of decorative paper. Just like that. Close the top. Now if you want, you can put a little piece of tape in there just to hold it together. But it's already wrapped up, and look how pretty that is. I am really loving this. And then they can, once it's empty, they can keep it. So this would look nice on a co-worker's desk. Just put it on a desk and just leave it quick and easy to make. So that's number two. That's number three, actually. Another idea is I love to go to the stationery section. And I'm not going to wrap these up yet because I may end up putting these in a gift basket. But I think these are really pretty to give as gifts, giveaways. Um, if you want to stack them on top, I'm always making lists. So if you're like me and you make a lot of lists, you want something to jot notes down, this is really pretty and you can put it in your handbag. And it's just lined paper, but I just love the covers. And because I love flowers, that's another thing. So I always give gifts that I know I would love to receive. And they had a lot of variety of these in there. So these are great gift ideas as well. And this one is throw kindness around like confetti. I love that. Love the way that is. So that's another gift idea. Really cheap and really economical. And it looks good. Okay, another idea that I absolutely love is if you have a teenager or someone, um, just any, anyone, a lot of friends or, or what have you, or your teenager wants to give gifts, Here's a great idea. Now these, these little makeup cases came in a pack of two for a dollar. I think it's really good. So you can do, you can fill both of them. I'm just gonna put this one to the side because I don't really, I'm not gonna use that one yet. Now I took different nail polishes from the Dollar Tree. And I just, I just filled it just fill it up, fill it up with your your stuff, and then I got these sassy and chic nail files, and the larger one I can actually use when I fill up that other bag. So I'm going to just leave that one there. And this one I could just slip it in there with the nail polish. There were also some little tubes of um, perfume that you could just throw right in there too. So another quick and easy idea, great stocking stuffer, and it just looks really neat. And I, lo I love the way this looks. And they had so many different um, styles of these little makeup bags. So quick and easy. So we've got one, two, three, four and five different ideas. Really easy and simple to make. I hope this idea helped you. Don't forget now, once you finish watching this video, head on over to Joanne Plans, Cha Cha Cakes and Sparkles on Forever. I have their link in the description box below. I know you're gonna have some great ideas uh, from their videos. And so I hope this inspired you Gift giving does not have to be uh, difficult. It should be easy and fun and, um, and economical, right? So don't forget to thumbs up this video, 
head on over to their channels. Go ahead and support these wonderful ladies, and I will see you real soon. Bye.